Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Having me. Yes, you're very welcome. Hi, Sarah. It's just waiting for people to arrive, giving some minutes. So beautiful to see you all here online. So please let me know if there are any technical issues, if you can hear me well. I still have to get familiar with this tool as well. So let me see. Hi, Amic. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Amazing to see you all here online. Wow. Feeling so blessed. Hi, everybody. Hi, Marcus. Jörg. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Amazing. So, I'm um, um, just one second trying to. Yeah, now I get um, so I'll, I'll mute you all because there are a lot of background noises. But if you want to. So. so, now you should be muted, but if you want to talk, you can do that every, every time you like. So, I think we are going to start. There might be some more people joining. So welcome once again. I'm so excited for this online course to journey with all of you. And um, to start with, that's the, the first time I'm doing it like with, with this tool. So please um, just um, give me some minutes sometimes if there is something not working very well. So just let me know. So does, um, do you know the chat function? There is one icon below. So if you have any questions, um or commands you can use that every every time you like so okay good um some preparations before we start um do you have some paper and pens that would be nice so that we can sketch afterwards or take some notes maybe you even have a journal so you can grab it i'll, I'll wait a minute and have some water or some juice. I made myself a nice smoothie. <laughs> it's not only healthy, but very tasty as well. Okay. Okay. So I see people returning. All right. What a beautiful group we have here. It's amazing. Wow. So beautiful to see you here. Okay. All right. I start with some information before we um, go into the process so that you know a little bit what's going on here. Um, so, um, what is really important for you to know, I've been on this journey for three years now, so that's called soul art, and I kind of adapted it for myself with soul alchemy, that was one process I was going through, um, but all in all, it's, it's like a program, a certification that holds space for you to dive into communing with your soul, like getting to know yourself better, your core, your very own truth, and to connect with that. So that's the first step, so that we can understand what's going on within us with all our emotions, and to shift realities. That's the soul art process, and it's in a container that is quite um, structured, so it's with five steps, and that's also our course all about uh, the six weeks. We, we dive in today, and then we are going to go through all these steps. And I'll guide you through that, and 
you always have enough space and time to work on your own pace at home afterwards. And I'll say something about that afterwards as well. So for today, um, we are going to set the focus, which means we try to dive into our soul's longing and to hear what it has to say. Because as we all know, it's really challenging times right now. And um, to get clarity, we have to go into stillness and silence and really listen deeply what's going on within us and what we need and what we can shift um, so that we feel better or clearer or whatever that is present right now. Yeah. So I think we all have our challenges these days and I really want to support you in um, seeing clearer and getting into action even when we're home so that we feel like we can create our own reality. So, okay. For today, um, we are going to set an intention and I'll guide you through that process. Um, please, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, okay. Before we start, I would like you to get comfortable and I would even invite you to close your eyes. You can even turn off your video if you like and just listen to my voice. And I invite you to just um, notice your breathing without changing anything. Notice how you breathe in and out. And just follow that breath and let it flow through your body. Feel your body and be present with the sensations. Maybe there are emotions. Just observe them. Give yourself space to just be however you are in this very moment. Despite all the challenges, despite all the collective energetic shifts and vibes all around you, just focus on yourself right now. And trace your body with your mind's eyes. Go there where there is your body asking for attention. Maybe there is an aching, maybe just a simple sensation. Just focus on that and then let it go again. See the whole, whole body where you're sitting or standing. And now ask yourself, what am I perceiving right now? Is it any sounds, any smells, or is it just emotions flowing through you? And then again, go back to your breathing and now try to breathe in very deeply into your belly and feel your feet on the ground. Deep breathing and relax. And take some breath maybe three more. And as soon as you are ready, you can open your eyes again. And I invite you to come back to this beautiful group of beautiful people. and grab a pen and a piece of paper and just take some notes or make some sketches about what you are experiencing right now. What emotions or what perceptions 
whatever is present for you right now. Maybe there are thoughts running through your mind. And if you feel like, just move your body so that energy can flow. And while you're taking notes, I will draw one of my cards for this journey to begin. So the You Are Alchemy, that's a card deck I created. And I'm curious what they have to say about our journey and our focus, what's important. So tuning in our energy and our journey ahead and what it's all about for all of us. And it's going to be a dance. So we are all going to dance together. That's so beautiful. Um, it says alchemy of ether. So it's really like the things that you cannot grab. It's the invisible. And we are actually working with the invisible, with the invisible energies. And we are going to make them visible so that you can shift your reality. So, and it says in the inspiration, dance is attraction and separation playing together. So again, it's like all poles. It's like the separation, it's a perception. And there is also like the attraction all coming together so it's we are going to create wholeness for ourselves and the group and individually so you can really focus on what is important for yourself but within uh, the safe container of this group so it's really beautiful and there is also like a exploration on the cards um and it says, how can you dance with the different expressions of your emotions, harvesting their energies? So maybe you can focus on your emotions today, especially, and feel into them and see what they have to communicate and how you can dance with them. So like um, going into playfulness as well. And because there is a lot of heaviness right now, so we, we're going to try to see the lightness in it as well. So that's for us that's beautiful all right i hope you you were able to take some notes and what i'm going to do now is guiding you through some questions so that you can get more clarity on where you're standing right now and what you're really maybe your issue or topic is um all right thank you julia <laughs> Okay, so you can take some notes or just experience whatever is there. Um, I find it helpful to have like words to it, to, to experiences that you cannot really grab. Or you can take some, make some sketches, that's really helpful as well. All right. Okay, so when you go back to yourself now, we, we started with a short meditation. Um, there might have been a specific emotion or some thoughts um, challenging you. So the overall picture right now, when you're at home, there is a, in many um, countries, there is lockdown. Um, how are you feeling right now? What is your life experience? What's happening in your life? What is most present? It can be like an experience, it can be an emotion, it can maybe there just happened something you, you have to deal with. Just taking some notes on that. And when you try to um Focus on different areas of your life. How is your work situation? Has there been a, a, a change 
are you working from home now or how how does that feel to you right now and then again when you see what's happening with the relationships like maybe you cannot see some beloved ones right now how does that feel right is it is it challenging for you or maybe like for you a time of reflection and you are enjoying your own space or are there any relationships that are very challenging to you right now is there maybe one relationship that triggers you specifically and what might be the topic behind it so what are you dealing with right now in relationships what's the theme the overall theme you're dealing with and how are you feeling in your body as we are starting we as we were starting we we kind of focus on our body and the sensations um do you feel healthy in your body is there some issues is there some pain now that we might not be able to move as much and what's what could you say is your biggest challenge right now regardless uh, the topics or the the areas of your life right now today when you feel into yourself what's the biggest challenge in these times or maybe just for yourself So these are um, very important questions for you to, to reflect on. And um, if you like, you are very welcome to share some of your thoughts, if you like. Um, of course, you don't have to. I'm just curious. Or maybe there is something I haven't addressed yet and you would like to express it. So you can do that um, by talking or even in the chat, if you like. So we, we gathered a lot of things right now, like um, things that are very present for you. And now um, the next step is actually looking at how could we shift that or how would would that be better if we changed something um but first we have to know or to understand what is the main topic so without thinking too much you took a lot of notes right now or sketches what is present for you and try to really put it into a sentence or one word what is the the most present right now for you the, the most chal biggest challenge i'd say what feels most important for you maybe that's the best question and today or in these days what feels most important to you and where would you like to shift something what would feel better if it's changed and maybe as well what's helpful sometimes shifting perspective in sense of um, where is the growth for my soul in this challenge how can i grow with that challenge Where is the opportunity for growth? 
And what's my biggest desire? What's my biggest desire right now? Rebecca says biggest challenge is to keeping the faith in the meaning of in the meaning of all this what is happening right now. Yes. Yes, it's a lot about trust. Absolutely. And for me it's as well like the inner knowing it's it's going to be okay. There is opportunities in that for all of us how we relate to each other what is really important to us in life so we can learn a lot thank you rebecca for sharing okay so now we've been gathering all these things um what's really important now how could you bring the main topic in one power statement and a power statement is it, it starts with i am so Try to focus on um, as if it already happened or as if it's already here. And um, yeah, just acknowledge your desire by saying, I am. And I can give an example for that. Um, for example, if you are feeling like awkward right now and you cannot go to the hairdresser, <laughs> whatever. Um, and your desire is to feel beautiful. Um, a power statement could be, I am radiant beauty. So make it as short as possible and as clear as possible with all the things you gathered. What's your main desire? And turn it into an I am statement. You, another example could be, I am rooted in my truth. Or I am... I am rooted to trust so that you really can feel it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm longing for right now. That's, that's a state of being I, I am missing right now. I, yeah. Maybe you can also take something with the safety. I am safe in expressing myself because I feel there's a lot about feeling unsafe right now. Um, because there is so many shifts happening. A lot of, yeah, uncertainties. So. Harma, I love it. I am vibrantly elevating from ground zero, doing it my way. Yes, 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 yes. Amazing. Amazing, because it's really a time to reconsider all and restarting again from our own truth. Amazing. And Patricia says, so there were many directions, but I picked, I am sleeping well for eight hours and I'm free from pain in my body and rash in my face. Um, I'm not sure if it's too long. Um, let me, Think. Um, I feel it's about feeling well in your body because the um, sleeping enough, um, the pain in your body that should be gone. Um, yeah, I feel there is a lot about physicality or feeling feeling safe and beautiful and radiant and healthy. Maybe you can take something from there as well make it shorter. Julia says, I am loved and connected. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Very powerful because it's, it's very focused and clear. Maybe you can also add connected to what? Anik says, I am full of vibrant energy. Yes. 
Amazing. You are doing great. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. And for those who might not be so sure yet or are still like putting words together, that's perfectly okay because it's a process. Um, and I encourage you really to, to work with the words and it doesn't need to be um, completed by the end of our call today because we, we still have one more week before we, we go one step further. So um, I encourage you really to go deep and go through your things you noted and your sketches and just be with your current intention. Um, because I know sometimes intentions kind of adjust when you focus on them and get clearer. So that's going to be the next step for, for all of us um, to stay with the intention for this coming week. And if you feel like there needs to be more added or something like changed, or maybe you feel like, no, it's not the right intention. I need to totally uh, reframe it. Just do it. Um, and that's going to be kind of your homework as well. <laughs> and um, I invite you to really play with the words and focus on your intention for the next days. Um, what would be very nice if you have a journal um, to journal every day, it, maybe one, one minute is enough for just a couple of minutes, um, what that means to you, like your intention or um, what's shifting already or what you are noticing what, um, regarding your intention. Because now you, you already have set a focus, um, that's your desire. And um, it will be shown to you what is important for you to really go or get to that point of desire. So I, I would invite you to, to do that. And as well, um, I'll send you another email with some additional questions so that we can keep the, the process running and that you can um, go deeper um, on your own pace on that. So I will give you some more inspiration on that before we meet again next Saturday. Yes, I think that's the most important thing. How are you feeling right now? I'm very curious. Just reading your comments as well. Yes, Patricia. Really nice, yeah, it's more clear now. Great. Um, Rebecca is asking, does the intention have to begin with I am always? I would su suggest so, because it's really like giving your whole body, your whole system, the impulse of, yes, I am that. I don't have, I I'm, I'm not outside of it, I'm already it. And that creates the field um, to really um, create that. So it's, it's like your, your vibration. Um, and that's why I am is very powerful. Thank you, Anik. I feel happy and easy. Yeah, me too. I'm very happy to be with you here. Okay. So are there any questions right now for the whole process? Because I don't want to say too much about it yet, um, but it's going to be similar the next um, couple of times, like half an hour, maybe um, an hour. It depends um, on, on the topic, but next time we are going to be more creative as well. So this is just like, setting the tone, setting the focus, um, setting the stage for us to travel in and be together as a group. Building the energy, that's really in, uh, very important. Having a safe container and growing from here. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay. 
So if there are no more questions, I would like to wrap it up. And of course, you always have the possibility to, to send me an email or to, to put some questions on Facebook. Um, I will address them and support you however I can. Um, yes, and remember, we're going to dance. We're on a dance together. So thank you so much. Have a most beautiful weekend. And thank you for joining and connecting with all of us. It's a beautiful journey. Saying goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.